Hi everyone and welcome back to RTKRC. Today we have a new 3D print project. This one was given to us from 3dberidi.com. You can check him out on Facebook or on his homepage where you can see the model he made and also ordering these uh, 3D print models. As usual, Morton has been the one printing all these parts. We have done some cleanup of the parts and we are ready to build it. What you need on the side is a motor. We are using an OS electric. This is a um, 2820. It's a 950 kV. We are using a 40 amp ESC. You can use smaller, of course. You can use a 30 amp ESC. Uh, and a light 2200 milliamp three cell battery. What you need on the side for the build is carbon tubes. You need a six by four carbon tubes and you need a 12 by 10 carbon tube and you need a three millimeter solid uh, carbon rod. Um, the length of each I will write just here. Well, there's nothing more to say. I promised you on Facebook that I will do a complete build video of this uh, speed glider. And of course, that is what I'm going to do. Okay, so I'm going to start with the fuselage. What you need is the shortest carbon tube and you have to glue these white endpoints. I'm not sure if you're printing this out in white but it's white for me. And they has a hole in it so that when you glue them onto each side of the rod you have the possibility to put a screw in it and fasten the whole, uh, the whole uh, fuselage. So. Uh, you need to do a bit cleanup. There's a track around here and of course a rail around here so that you can slide it into each other. Uh, I'm going to put this one after that I have joined these two together. And let's see. Like this. Don't be afraid to use a little bit of power. You need to do that. Make sure that the edges are aligned. And here you have the possibility to put a screw in so that it's held on place. And here's the tube. The tube is simple. It slides in here like that and you can see that you have a screw mount there and also there's just a little bit of room in the end uh, section of the fuselage that will fit precisely on this one so but I was thinking that I was going to glue this so I will do that the reason that I'm gluing this part or the whole plane is that we are going to do two versions. We are going to do one that we are gluing and one that we are using only screws on. Uh, you can't go wrong on the screws and we are not going to do two videos, but I'm just, just going to make an assemble video now. The tip of my CA bottle is a bit broken, so I'm using an old system that I did before. An old screwdriver, put some glue in the lid and just slide it around. Make sure that it's aligned and it is beautiful. A little thicker. Now I'm going to insert this rod and the final front part of the fuselage. If you like to, you can mount the motor first so that you have more room for uh, the wires and so on but that isn't a problem for me so 
we are going to do like that and this one we are going to glue as well just fitted it so there you are this is the fuselage here you should put the 12 by 10 uh, carbon rod we have the 12 by 10 but it's at Morton's house we ordered one but we got it wrong and they sent us 14 by 12 and that doesn't fit at all so this is the fuselage now to make sure that it doesn't break I'm going to put insert two screws you can choose to set screws here but I have glued the fuselage so I'm not going to bother doing that we have the motor and we're going to find motor mounts and then we screw the motor onto this But I can already feel that the fuselage with the motor, it's quite heavy. But I've seen it fly, so I know it flies. Um, and I know that you need to have a lot of speed on this. And that's why the word speed glider. So, but anyway, I'm looking forward to fly this. I like these types of models. The faster, the better. When you're printing the wings, you will have in this slot a lot of waste, uh, print waste, which you need to take out. Uh, a bit tedious work, but it goes great. Uh, just use a sharp, flat screwdriver, stick it inside and just whip it out. And we have here is the one side, so I'm just going to check because... And it's going to be the smaller one down, yes. So, here is the front, here is the shortest tube. It's going on the back holes. And the longest tubes are going here. And as you can see, it's quite cool because you have wing support. Uh, this we don't have on the 3d lab print piper pony so i really wish that they address that issue that give it more support in the wings but we haven't flown it yet so we don't know but anyway i like this and it also makes it easier to assemble the wings which we are going to do right now i think this system is quite unique um, i like the slots uh, and also the easy, easy way to install the wings. As you can see, the slide right in there. Um, I will not glue this end of the wing because I want to have the possibility to remove the wings uh, or change them uh, individually if they break. So. The only thing that I'm going to glue on the wing is, uh, let's see, these two sections and the final section, like this. They will be glued on. Like that. <laughs> Shake it. <laughs> and let's put them on the table so that we have the correct alignment like that on this wing part you see that you have a hole here and that is for the landing support which you just slide in here like that make sure to get it all the way in and there you have it you have 
in this servo section you have a, a hole for the screw for the shortest rod there beautiful and also on the end section you have a hole where you can put a screw into the longest rods so there you have it the wing and now let's try it on to see if we have glued it totally to pieces or if it works That rod fitted, and we're going to take out this. Of course, you can glue them with the rods on to get the correct measurements, but it shouldn't be necessary. Not at all. Let's just take a little bit of power there. Cool. So now you can take the screws and you can work your way into the supports. And I have one with a magnet. And in the slots. Beautiful. So now do the same on the next wing part. Okay, so we are done with the wing sections and they are locked in with screws, so they won't go anywhere. You can unscrew the two screws in the wing and just pull them out if you don't glue them. And of course, if you break a wing, it will be easier to replace just parts of it rather than a whole plane. So uh, recommendation, use screws. So. Now we're going to mount uh, the tail section of the plane. And in the print set you have this cross, which is going to be 48 millimeters from the end of the 12 by 10 carbon, uh, carbon tube. And when you have the correct measurements, we will turn it around and glue on the top side. Make sure that the rounded parts, the beveled part of the cross is facing inwards. Like that. So next up we are going to uh, glue the horizontal stabilizer. Make sure that you have a flat table of course use the table as your friend. There are ways to reinforce this even better because this is just glued together like on the flat surface. So if you have a good connection it will be good but you can use some fiberglass strips put them over the joints and use uh, CA glue and kicker on that as well. See. So, tail section done. And then you put this uh, sort of back skirt on. This one is going inside here you can mount it with tape around here or you can glue it and that means you can add a piece of tape around here a couple of times to keep this in place this is of course when you're going to uh, use screws on the plane instead of glue so but we can glue it doesn't matter there and landing protector protection just slide it in here one of the most crucial thing we're going to do now is align this with the rest of the plane uh, the best thing 
would have been for me to have sort of a rail system that I could put on but I think we have to eyeball it so you slide this in not too far because you want to sort of have it aligned with the end of the carbon tube the reason for that is that the uh, rods for the aero and the side rudder is coming out of this tube so you really don't want to make it too long I think slide this one on just making circular or like this motion to get the glue all over the tube and as I was saying this is the crucial and then kicker don't be greedy and of course we will align this baby into the end of this tube also try to align it so it looks okay so there you have it the 3dberidi.com evolution plane next out is the hatch and here you have the three millimeter solid carbon rod and it should be 15 millimeter out sticking out from this mounts in you can see here so you want to point 15 millimeters out let's see you don't often see me using this <laughs> It looks a little bit too much, but we will find that out when this dries and we can test fit it there. And now we need to glue these pieces together. And there you have it. And now the big question, will it fit? Woohoo! Woohoo! And a little bit of press there. And it's on. The next thing we are going to do now is to mount uh, the rudders. Uh, the horizontal stabilizer rudder you need to glue together like this. And it will say evolution on it. How are we going to fit the rudders because one of the things uh, Beridi.com need to do is to implement uh, slots for the hinges so that you can just put them inside glue them and slide the rudders on it and in another video he has glued the hinges on top of the rudders and that is what we are going to do now uh, Hopefully on a new version he will have implemented the slots for the rudder. It's not the most beautiful thing. But it doesn't matter because we are going to paint it anyway. If it flies great we will do some modifications on the another print. Yes, that's looking good. I'm thinking about doing one more as close as to the center as possible it doesn't doesn't look beautiful but it's not ugly either so it's it's a cool cool way to do it a lot of throw so I'm happy with that okay guys we are done with the hinges so now we have hinges on 
the ailerons, uh, the elevator, horizontal stabilizer, and the vertical stabilizer. So the only thing left now is to mount the servos and you can't go wrong on the servos. Uh, I'm going to use uh, small digital uh, micro servos and you have slots inside the fuselage where to mount them and of course you will use I'm sorry about this squeaking chair you will use rods which you insert in this tube and all the way to your servos I'm not going to install them right now I'm waiting for a new receiver so it will be here on Monday but overall we are done with the plane the servos are glued in place so you can see that they have extra um, opening here for the wire and also a leading uh, tunnel all the way into the airplane we are also going to um, color the wings the wings are going to be red and that's also uh, one reason that I'm not going to uh, install the servos yet and the final approach without the electronics is uh, the cowling and this one you can fit outside here uh, make sure that the motor doesn't bind and then you can glue it or you can drill some holes and screw it to the fuselage if you find this model interesting you can go to 3dberidi.com and check it out uh, the maiden flight of uh, this plane will be as soon as possible but as you all know we are struggling here now with some insane weather we have like four meter with snow outside and it won't give us a break at all um, and as we speak now the mountains are closed again and the wind is really really bad but I'm not going to complain we will be out flying very soon anyway so until next time see you guys